In the ancient world, and even today, megastructures are magnets of activity. They rise up in great population centers and attract even more people around them and within them. Even if they were built for awe-inspiring reasons, they become a place where people come together. They become a hub for society within a town or a city. These hubs become places where the energy flows of the human race meet, and out of this come often unexpected and wonderful results. It's a pattern we see across all scales, from cells clustering together to form creatures, to human megastructures that pull people together into great cities. It all connects to something even more gigantic, hubs of energy in the cosmos. As the early universe cools, its first megastructures appear. Stars, solar systems, and galaxies. Most of the universe is just empty space, or not very much activity. Where do you get the interesting things? You get the hubs, where you get a lot of matter concentrated into one particular zone, where you get stars, you get planets circling it. Then you get a bunch of interesting things going on. On Earth, Man's megastructures echo this universal law. Things happen where complexity exists. So we can look at it from the perspective of a city or a megastructure or even from a much bigger, broader perspective, really, of the universe. Big History tries to connect events that are occurring on the scale of the universe with events that are occurring on the scale of the planet, the biosphere, if you like, and humans. And one of these key themes that seems to run through all those processes, from all those perspectives, is evolving complexity. The evolution of more complex structures biologically, of more complex structures in the universe. Clearly, the appearance of mega engineering or monumental architecture is another example that humans have crossed another threshold of complexity.